guys so let's continue our discussion further as you can see in this particular part we are going to start discussing why do we need security as we know why we need security because someone might misuse our computer someone might might misuse our data which is present on there so that is a simple way so we can easily write this type of answer in ever changing world of a global data communication inexpensive internet connection and fast paced software development security becoming more and more an issue security is now a basic requirement because global computing is inherently insecure so in today's time when we talk about internet only anyone can try to access my account anyone can try to access my computer anyone can try to make watch on me from some remote location using some different tools we basically call it uh, script kiddies so uh, the these are the tools basically uh, we might find on many places on google as well or many places which is not accessible by google which is called as black world there also we can find this type of tools that is hacking tools so one can easily use this type of hacking tool and can easily enter into some other person's network can easily access some other person's internet wifi or can also try to hack someone's account as well so that is the only reason we need to make sure that our data our account are secured and that is the only reason on timely basis we need to change our password as well so as your your data goes from point to point on the internet for example it may pass through several other points along the way giving other users the opportunity to intercept basically when we talk about sending data over the internet as we know data goes from one router or one network to another network as we know when uh, many small network comes together and that big network is called as wan that is wide area network so here as well when we talk about wide area network or wan in short our internet so whenever we are sending data that data basically travels from multiple networks and if data is traveling from multiple network that means there might chances that someone might use packet sniffers to sniff the packets flowing or going or traveling through that network and while using such type of tools one can easily intercept your communication one can easily trace the packets but if we send those packets in an encrypted way then it gets very difficult for this type of sniffer uh, sniffers to interpret those packets yes they can trace your packets they can get the access of your packet but they cannot read data or they cannot understand what is there within those packets so that is the only reason we need security it does nothing to protect your data center other servers in your network or miscellaneous that is same thing which we discuss let's discuss principles of security so what are the main principles before that we need to understand one example let us assume that a person a wants uh, wants to send a check worth 100 dollar to another person normally what are the factor that a and b will be thinking of in such cases so what are the factor they might be thinking about as you can see in such a will write a check for 100 dollar put it inside an envelope and send it to b uh, basically uh, spelling of check is wrong okay uh, sorry for that uh, just uh, make a note of this you need to write a uh, correct spelling as we know correct spelling is c h e q u e so basically as we uh, when we talk about sending or uh, or uh, some uh, person a sends a check to person b so this is a pure money transaction and it is very important for us to secure this type of money transaction and how can we secure a will first ensure that one accepts b gets the envelope and even if someone else gets that envelope he or she does not come to know about the details of check 
and this is the principle of confidentiality remember what we mean by confidentiality secure your data encrypt your data in a such a way that except intended recipient no other person can understand those data that is what we mean by confidentiality that is one principle or first principle of security second is a and b will further like to make sure that no one can tamper with the content of the check such as its amount date signature name of pay etc this is the principle of integrity that means if i am sending something there should not be any change when it be received by any receiver so whatever data i am sending from my side the same data should be received on other side so without any modification without any data loss we have to send our data from one point to another point that is maintaining integrity of data maintaining purity of a data i hope this particular point is clear third point is we would like to assure that the check has indeed come from a and not from someone else posing a as it could be fake check in that case this can be principle of authentication so how can we uh, assure that this check is coming from authorized person only so for that reason we basically add signature over that particular check so in physical check we can easily add signature but how it is possible to add signature on those electronic check so for that reason we basically add digital signature so this uh, digital signature is like a signature or physical signature so if i am sending a document to some other person so how one that uh, receiver can assure whether that document is from my side only so for that reason i'm going to add my signature on that particular document the same way when i'm sending some document or some check over internet or with with this electronic medium so at that point of time i'm going to add electronic signature on that particular document or that check and that assures authenticity or authentication of that document so this is third principle first is as we know confidentiality second principle is integrity third is authentication now let's talk about fourth principle that is non repudiation so as we know if i have signed some document that means i have acknowledged that document what are whatever terms conditions or whatever return on that document i'm agreeing i'm agreeing on all those points and i cannot deny and that is the only principle what we mean by non repudiation if i am sending some electronic data to some next person or some third person and if my signature is present on that particular document that means that means i cannot deny in future why because my signature is present there so once after sending a document sender cannot deny that is what we mean by non repudiation so what will happen tomorrow if b deposits the check in a, his or her account the money is transferred from a's account to b's account and a refuses having written or sent check the court of law will use a signature that is digital signature to disallow a to refuse this claim and settle the dispute this is the principle of non repudiation once you have sent some document and if your digital signature is present on that electronic document then after sending a document you cannot deny that is what we mean by non repudiation next comes the there are four chief principles of security and again there are two more one is access control and second is availability access control it should be accessible from any point or uh, from any place anyway for example whatsapp our email accounts facebook account and today's time bank account as well so that is what we mean by access control so it should not be accessed by any unknown person and availability means it should be accessible from every place based on some basic requirement for example if i want to access my bank account then what are the requirement i need one computer or smartphone uh, on which i can access internet and uh this is the basic uh, necessity what we uh, need i hope this particular point is clear so here we are done with this part now let's start discussing something else so 
here we are going to discuss about confidentiality authentication in detail because many time they might um, university might ask you to write definition or define this terms so what we mean by confidentiality as you can see this picture confidentiality means keep it secret not all persons should get knowledge of that particular data so principle of confidentiality specifies that only sender and intended recipient should be able to access the content of message that is what we mean by confidentiality A very few people can be able to access that particular data confidentiality gets compromised if an unauthorized person able to access that message so why we put passwords or why we use different encryption algorithm so that any unknown person or any third person should not get access of our data and that is what we mean by confidentiality so as you can see interpretation causes loss of message confidentiality and hence it is very important that our message should not be interpreted we have to send it in in such a uh, such a using some very difficult algorithm so that it gets very difficult for hacker as well to unencrypt or decrypt that particular message next is authentication authentication means only authorized person should get access so who is the authorized person how we come to know using password using some biometric system as you can see in this picture so authentication is mechanism helps establish proof of identities the authentication process ensures that the original origin of electronic message or document is current correctly identified so as you can see the last part fabrication is possible in absence of proper authentication mechanism now let's discuss the third part third is integrity so what we mean by integrity purity of our data our data should not be lost stolen or data should not be changed while it's traveling on its way so when the content of a message are changed from a sender sends it but before it reaches to intended recipient we say integrity of message is lost why because the message is modified and the original content are lost so the original meaning or the original why we have sent what is the main reason that reason was missed non repudiation as we know that if if there is a situation where a say a user sends a message and later on refuses that she has not sent that particular message so non repudiation if your signature is present on that particular document then you cannot deny why because your signature your digital signature is present on that document so after sending a document sender cannot deny that is what we mean by non repudiation next is access control that means if i am a authorized person then i should get access of that data at any point of time from any place so access control principle of access control determine what should be access and at what time and same way availability as you can see in this picture it should be available from anywhere from any device the principle of avail availability states that resources that is information should be available to authorized parties at all times as you can see we have to remember this seven osi layers osi standard for security model first is authentication then access control non repudiation integrity confidential uh, confidentiality assurance of availability and notarization of signature or signature i hope this particular point is clear so here we are done with very basic of our first unit let's start discussing something actual or some proper detail i hope the introduction and introductory part is clear to each and every one of us now will we uh, now we'll start discussing the actual topic that is types of attacks so this is a broad topic uh, we need a uh, minimum half an hour or more for this topic so uh, i'll be covering this topic in next lecture so in next lecture we will be discussing about types of attack stay tuned thank you